Hello, hello, my name's Elodie, also known as Melody Elodie, and this is my second video on my anime music quiz script. Um, so obviously there's been a lot of changes since I first released that video a couple of years back. Um, one, we now use stylus instead of stylish. Uh, I know they sound similar, but there's a vast difference. Uh, that being that stylish was kind of a pri uh, privacy concern, um, so we now use stylus. Um, and I also moved the uh, way he download the script to a different site as well. Um, overall, it makes things uh, like editing the script a lot more easier, but also it makes it a lot easier for you to go in and edit the script yourself. So I want to go over these new things, basically do a whole tutorial again. Um, I will go over the basics and how to install it, how to change the background and some other elements too. So uh, I hope you can join me today and we'll go through everything and yeah, just stick by me. Okay, so um, down in the description below, um, there should be various links to the various things we are, are going to be using today. So the first thing and the first step of installing the script, you want to install Stylus. Um, I will have this link down below. Um, this script will only work on Chrome properly. Um, there are a separate fix for Firefox, but like out of the 2000 downloads on the script that we had before, like maybe only 20 of you were using Firefox so um like I don't expect many of you to be asking for that and anyways I I would think that most people probably use Chrome anyway for anime music quiz um so yes uh this will only work on Chrome um but I will link the stylus uh for Firefox below as well um so all you want to do is install it when you have the chance to um, and once you've installed it, uh, the link below that will be a link uh, to uh, my anime music uh, quiz script uh, where you can install it. So obviously I've got some other scripts as well if you use any of these sites. But today we're going to go and use the anime music quiz script. Um, as you can see, um, there should be an install button right here. All you want to do is click it. I'm going to reinstall it. Let me just reinstall it. Like this is how easy it is install it and wait for the image to load bang there you go if that's all you're here for that's it the video's over but, but 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 if you want to change the background of your anime music quiz i will show that to you now so how do you change your background well i will explain that to you uh, all you want to do is to go up to this little icon in your chrome uh, browser here uh, called extensions you just want to click on that um, you can see I've got other things installed um, so all you want to do is click on stylus um, and then you could have like this little section here obviously I'm going to have some other things that I've installed or like little test things that I use to test the script on um, but obviously uh, this will be the one you're looking for so it should be the latest version um, all you want to do is press this little edit button right here um, once you're here, this look looks very daunting. I know it looks daunting, but I will guide you through it. I will take your hand and guide you through it. Um, so to change your background, all you want to do is literally go to here on 931 and you want to choose a background that you would like to have. So obviously you want it to end in uh, a URL ending in PNG or JPEG. I know that... Uh, GIF can also work, um, but good luck trying to find uh, one that works well with your browser um, and in a good resolution. <laughs> but I will go and show you, I would actually go and change the background myself. So. There you go. I'm just going to take this. Punk it in here, bada beam, bada boom. All you want to do once you've got your image put in there, you just want to press save. And then if you go back to your anime music, Chris, there you go. The image is there, it's all there, ready to go. And there you go, video over. If that's all you wanted to do, the video is over, you don't need to do anything else. But if you want to change some other aspects into anime music, Chris, I will also go and dive into that right now. So, like in my last tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a little tool that you can use whilst 
browsing at your anime music quiz to see what you want to specifically change. I will go over some of the main things people will want to change, but I want to also introduce this little tool so if there's any nitpicky stuff you want to change, um, you can go and find them yourself. Um, if you've got any specific questions, you can always reach out to me on Discord. Um, I'm always happy to help. Um, I will try my best to try and find a solution to your problem. Um, but uh, I will introduce you to a tool so you can have a go at it yourself because it's a bit easier than you think it actually is. So I want to introduce you to the uh, magical F12 button. So if you want to press F12, I'm sure you've pressed on it on accident before. Um, it will bring up this and for a lot of people, people are like, what the hell is this? And do not worry, I will also guide your hand through this. Um, all you need to know is this little button up here, or you can press Control Shift C. Um, so you just want to click on this, um, and you can see it will hover over any specific element that you want to change. Um, so for example, if we want to change the XP bar, XP bar uh, color, you can see here it selected the thing, and if you go over here to the top, you can see that this is XP bar inner. Um, so I'm just going to copy that just so I remember. But another thing they can do, um, if you are like, well, I don't know how it's going to look compared to my other images and like my image background, and I don't know what color to use. Otherwise, I don't really want to do any guesswork. Well, you can click on the color here, and you know you can see it in live action. What sort of color you want, and you know you can choose any color you really want. Um, so, let's go back here. You want the X par inner. Um, let's go back to the script and I will show you how to search for that. Okay, so once you're in here, all you want to do is press Control F and you can see I have button default because that was the last thing I was editing um, in Stylus. Um, so, all you want to do is press XP bar inner and then you'll find it here. And look, I put little fancy footnotes that will tell you what the function of these sections will do. These are littered throughout the script. You can go and have a look and see uh, what I've noted out. Uh, usually I've noted out the biggest changes. Um, so you can go here. Um, I'm going to go the color to what I've done here. So let's just grab this color. Um, you can just do that. Sorry. We do that, press the hash back on. Bada bing, you can see, look, you got the little color preview, that's the same color in the other one. We're just gonna do that. And if you want to see if that's worked or not, all you want to do is refresh your browser. Um, let's go back into Anime Music Quiz. Thank you, Patreon. Um, and then you can see, look, it's changed, it's completely there, it's, it's saved, it's there. Um, and that's how you change the XP bar color. Um, this can also be applied to the avatar drive, so if you want to do the avatar drive, this is also linked to the bar in, you know, your lobby preview section. It will also change this color up here by the players. Um, all you want to do is press your F12 button again. Press on this select. Select what you want. And then, obviously, this is the progress bar. And let's say nothing comes up here. And you might be like, hmm. I wonder where it is. Um, so what you can also do instead of, you can also click like down here, you can find it like specifically down here, but if you want a quicker version and usually because the owner of the website is, you know, pretty good at coding, usually there's some sort of, co uh, some sort of link to whatever the progress text container is. So if we go over here, if you type in progress, you got the video progress bar, which is another progress bar, which is a part of um, your player, your player, blah, 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 the game, <laughs> which I will show you later. Um, and you, you just keep going down, and you can see here progress bar. Hmm, I wonder what this is linked to. Hmm, it might be the progress bar here. Um, so what you want to do is just change the color here. Get any colour you want, so I don't know, let's go with this ugly yellow-green colour. <gasps> Look, it's changed! Oh my god, there's another colour there! Um, and then, you know, you can just go through like this and change whatever aspects you want. Um, and, you know, design it to however you want it to look. Um, so let's go into, um, Anime Music Quiz itself. 
um, and see what's going on because I want to show you some of the inside of it as well. So let's go to Song and Artist. Actually, they're not playing a game, so I will ignore them. <laughs> let's go into here. Um, obviously, this is the interior, and I'm going to mute this before I get a claim. <laughs> um, and this is how it looks like on the inside. Again, you can um, change whatever aspects you want in here. So, for example, you can always change, you know, how you want, you know, the settings to look. So you can change the color of the outline for like the answering aspect. So when someone's answered, obviously it's yellow now. It's kind of got this border glow. I find it is easy to see who's answered and who's not. Um, but also I can easily tell um this music this is the <laughs> my five second script uh one second script sorry uh in effect right now um um but you can easily tell when someone's answered it's not covering up the answer uh glow like when it, it when, with the anime title with what you answer usually that has a glow um i find that very distracting so now it's um and border glow um you can change the border glow you can go into my script you can find where you can change those and i think i put a footnote where you can change those as well um so yeah that's essentially it for the guide um so yeah if you're interested in anything else um i think i go through um over the expand library a bit in um, my previous tutorial video at the end if you're really interested in you know figuring out how to um size up the video preview because i've enlarged it a bit um i will cover that there um so yeah that is all for this video i hope you liked it um if you've got any questions you can always reach out to me i'm always there to help um i should be just under the name bracket led uh you know end bracket um if you need to reach out to me so yeah Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a good rest of your day.